Alrighty, alrighty, good morning. Welcome to another day in the beautiful Italy. Mainland this time. Last time you caught us, we were traveling back across from Sardinia on the ferry. We came back into mainland and we had a pretty, uh, was it a rubbish night last night? Yeah, it pretty was actually a rubbish night last night. We had a really lovely ferry crossing. It was like the best ferry crossing we probably ever had anywhere. And then we got off the ferry and because it was only a bit later, it was like 8 p.m. when we got off the ferry. I knew that finding a spot to stay for the night, I've got like a hair in my eyeball, um, was gonna be difficult last night. But I had like a couple of truck stops uh, earmarked on the way to Rome, which is where we are now, by the way. We're in Rome. And um, we went to the first one and it was no good. It was just completely rammed full. There was no, no space for us. Second one, which is the one we ended up staying at, uh, was under construction. It had like loads of good reviews, but it was under construction when we got there. So there was only a limited amount of truck spaces. And then when we, when we got there, there was one truck space left, which is a really nice one. It was like, it was, it had been finished, the area where this one truck stop was. So it looked really nice. But when we were looking around, we were like, ah, oh, there's like JCBs everywhere. There's construction stuff everywhere. You know for a fact these guys are gonna be here at 6 a.m. drilling, banging, you know what. And, um, and this isn't a good idea. So we, were like, we contemplated traveling 15 minutes on to the next part. But that could have been a risk. It could have been full again. So we risked it for a biscuit. And we didn't get lucky. 6.15, the banging started. And, um, and obviously when you're in a van, this van is pretty well sound insulated. So um, we've got white noise on the stuff, but you can still hear it. Luckily, nobody woke up. Sarah didn't even hear the, the noise. Like, like, it was me. I was like stone awake, like, boom, what's going on? Who's outside the van? Checking the cameras. I'm like, oh, it's a load of workmen, diggers, you name it. No one else woke up. Like, not even, not even at all. And I didn't even get to sleep last night until 5.15. Probably after, and that was the last time I checked. That was the last time I checked the clock anyway. I just couldn't sleep last night. I finished, I finished like working at like four. I just could not sleep. So then when I got woke up at 6.15, I was like, yep, come on now. I'm not gonna be able to do it today. I'm gonna be dead. Um, Cause we've got a big day today. Anyway, long story short, everyone else slept fine. I'm a bit ropey. <laughs> Cause I didn't sleep too good, but we're all good. We literally have jetted 15 minutes round the corner to this lovely campsite called Happy, Happy Camper 24. Um, uh, everywhere here, as you would imagine in Rome, is trying to absolutely kill tourism with camper vans by charging 130 euros a night for a pitch, etc, etc. Literally trying to take the biggest pee I've ever known. So I've run around everywhere today. This was the only place that was semi-reasonable. This is still 70 euros a night. But it's, you know, it's almost half what everywhere else is charging, so. Hell yeah, let's go. And it's actually really nice. We've got a pool. We're not gonna use it because we're too busy. But um, we've got a pool. We're in a nice little area here. We can use Starlink because we've got no trees above. Um, but it's nice, it's really nice, it looks good. And the lady at reception was a G. Uh, so this is our setup today, right now. The girls and Jace have gone to the pool area to have a chill. Mom is in the caravan right now, filming a voiceover for a video she's got to do. Roddy is asleep in the front, hence why the engine's still running to keep her asleep for a minute whilst I just set everything up. And um, this is basically our little corner for the next couple of days whilst we explore all of Rome. Because I bet you anything, lots of you guys will remember our 2021 road trip in this van where we came to Italy, we came to, we went to Pisa, we went to Florence and we came down to Rome to do a day here but we couldn't park, literally couldn't park this thing anywhere. Schoolboy with the old cities in a big van, did not anticipate it being difficult, we hadn't had any struggles anywhere else. Rome was a nightmare, we couldn't park anywhere so we, to the point where we ended up doing a driving around the city tour, so we went to see the Colosseum and all the other landmarks, driving basically, and then we then we got some lunch in the van and we jetted. We literally got on the road and we didn't we didn't even get out of the van in Rome apart from to eat from the van. So we haven't done Rome. We've seen a bits of Rome, but we haven't done it. Um, so this time we have two days solid. We're going to do everything, and I'm really excited. So right now, just getting all the van life chores done. This is where I keep my like hose pipe for water. We keep the ha <laughs> ha in here. We keep the power cables, all that sort of good stuff. Anything that's remotely damp from the day before, like these were 
from the day before yesterday just to dry because it dries really well in there it gets super super hot in this box when um, the sun's on it anyway we're just plugging the power in get everything rigged up and then once Roddy wakes up we're gonna be getting the shop bus and heading to the train station we would have to literally be in a city on what has been probably the hottest days of this trip <laughs> yeah, true. Mm, but not only that but we would have to be going today. Have you said of what we're doing today? Please say no. Yeah, I've said. You've said what we're doing? Yeah, why? I did it in a good way. Did you want to do it? Yeah, I want people to guess where we were going. Oops. I'm, I'm going to get Chris to cut it out. I'll bleep over what we're doing. <laughs> but if not, then just leave it in and ignore this and just cut my part out. But. We would have to be going to not only in the hot the city place in the hottest day of the year, on the hottest day we've had this trip, should I say. But we're going to a place where we have to cover up. So I'm having to wear sh literal, I've got dungarees on right now that are long legged. And I am going to ha also have to put on a shirt over the top to keep my um, upper arms and chest covered. And if you guys want to take a quick guess on where you think we're going, comment down below right now. Pause this video right now and comment down below. In one second, I'm gonna give you another clue. In one minute, I'm gonna give you another clue. What's this hill? Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking up a massive hill right now. We've checked onto a campsite in Roma. Apparently this, this restaurant's pretty good here. We're here for a couple of days. The campsite's in Rome. The campsite's in Rome, sure, and no joke. The cheapest one we could find this. What was that quote we got this morning? 130 euros per night. That's most places to say. <laughs> Anyway, we managed to find this campsite, which is still 140 euros for two nights. Oh, it's gone really dark. There we go. 140 euros for two nights. So it's not the cheapest, not the cheapest. I've stayed in cheaper hotels, but we're not going to complain because we are in Should Rome. We buy lots of here? Because we need lots of it. Should we buy lots of now? Yeah, it'd be easier than trying to get in town and then bring it back on the train. Let you. Let you. Let you. Let you. Milk. This is the shop. As well said, it's kind of like just a storeroom with a couple of shelves, and it kind of is. But that's all we need. Um, so that's what this. This is what this campsite has got. We'll list the campsite. We'll pop it up on the screen for anybody that's interested in doing a similar trip. Because, like I say, the rest, um, the campsites here are very expensive. This was the most reasonable one that we could find. Even though this shop's small though, it's stocked with the essentials you could need. Oh, 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 where's she going, where's she going? Alright, get back here! Where are you going? Aurora's making friends. <laughs> you say bye bye! Say ciao! Sorry, man, is this, what? Um, is that regular? Milk? Yes, that's the regular milk. Is it semi skimmed or full fat? I want to try. No, that's just normal. Let me see this. Ciao, no, Aurora. Bye bye. Say bye, so Aurora. <laughs> so cute. Um, drinks are five euros for six. So, just for reference, that's probably not the most expensive water we've had on this trip. But just for reference, for anyone else that's doing a trip, um, Lidl, you get the exact same bottles for 21 cents. So it's just over one euro twenty for six. Whereas in here it's five euros for six. Small, we're gonna make a profit. Gonna make a profit. You're always gonna get that on a campsite. You're always gonna get that on a campsite. Um, and in Lidl the sparkling water is 19 cents. Because I've accidentally bought that a couple of times. And if you're like me and you've accidentally bought that a couple of times, but you think that sparkling water tastes like battery acid, which I do. Not that I know what that tastes like, but you get what I mean. Then you can just boil it. If you boil sparkling water, for example, for your cups of tea, your hot coffees, your hot chocolates, your hot drinks, is no different than mineral water. Right, the bubbles go away. The bubbles just magically disappear. We've made fruits <laughs> from mineral water many, many sparkling times. Sparkling water. We've made cups of tea from sparkling water a lot. Sparkling water, yeah. No, I think we have. We've also washed sand off of our feet with sparkling water. <laughs> it's no one in the family likes it to drink. Where's the water? We're out of water. I've got sand all over my feet. Use the sparkling. I like sparkling water. Chris, no, you don't. I choose sparkling over No, you don't. Yeah, I don't. You don't like sparkling water. Yeah, I do. He, he watches someone that he likes on YouTube and they like sparkling water, so now Chris suddenly likes sparkling water. Yeah, my, right. My idol likes right. Water. His idol likes sparkling water, so now Chris likes sparkling water. Even though his whole life he's been like, tastes disgusting. Now he's like, yeah, I like this. You are such a 
such a gift. <laughs> He's gonna cut all this out. Right. I'm gonna check you on not cutting this out. My eye don't like sparkling water, so I like sparkling water. That's right. Right then, Missy, why are you walking on a water crate? Get down. Is anybody else's baby, if you've got one around Aurora's age, just completely I'm into climbing? Or putting mud in her mouth. Or putting mud in her mouth, yeah. But climbing, I can't wait until we get home. Do you remember that thing we bought for Jace? And then me, oh, it's gone. It's gone, it's literally gone. <laughs> anyway, I was talking about that thing we bought for Jace, and then Mila used it. You know, you actually have got mud in your mouth, you dirty girl. And then Mila used it, and I've still got it for Aurora, so it's been like the best value thing we've ever, ever had. And it's that step and slide, where it's like three steps, and like that triangle bit, and then it slides down and put a ball pit in the middle. It's like that little soft play thing. Yeah, get down. Get down, Aurora. Yeah, I can't wait to get home and get that help out for her because she's going to absolutely love it. Chris is fuming. He just went to pay. What was the total? 14 euros. 14. Six waters of Coke and a, a milk. Wait, the water's five? So that means it's nine for a bottle of Coke and a milk? Milk is three, but the Coke is six. Six euros for a bottle of Coke. Six euros for a 1.5 bottle of Coke. Why is it still in your hand and not back on the shelf? <laughs> I want it. I really, really want it. Are you insane? Oh my gosh. Oh, no, I can't. Look at Aurora just walking out after Daddy. We need to find Daddy. Go on then, big girl. Careful of the stair. <laughs> Why are you running, Roddy? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got Dada's coat. <laughs> Anyway, this campsite does have a pool, which is actually really, oh my gosh, got a big one down there. Are these open? Oh, yeah, they're open. Let's go have a look. So we've got a cute little restaurant area that leads out onto these two pools. Let's go check out the pools. Here is opening hours. Bath cap is required. Oh my gosh, baby, you've got to wear a bath cap. That means you've got to cover your hair. Oh, no, I'm not sure that's for me. Nope, you wouldn't find me getting in that. That's disgusting. Let me see if I can get the camera to sort out its brightness. It is full. Full. Right, here's your last little clue before I'm going to tell you where we're going today. And I'd really love it if you didn't Google the answer because it's not anything to be ashamed of for not knowing this but today we are going to the world's smallest country we're going to the smallest country in the whole world now some of you might be a little confused <laughs> but don't be because it's a genuine fact like this is not a Sarah fact it's a genuine I'm fact. Sure, yeah, it's definitely not a Sarah fact I am sure and I didn't know this until recently but where we're going today, number one, the girls are beside themselves excited. That's one clue. Clue number two, you have to cover up. You can't just walk in there with your crop top on, your hot pants, your vests. And number three, it is the smallest country in the whole world. So pause this video right oh, now. Number four, they drink more wine than anywhere else in the, in the world. world. Yeah. So despite it being the smallest country in the whole world, this country drink more wine than anywhere else in the whole world. <laughs> That's insane. That's Apparently. actually crazy. We're not branding them all alcoholics. Yes, we are. No, we're not no. branding them alcoholics, but they are definitely, that is a fact that they do that. So, pause this video now and comment down below where you think we're going. Don't cheat. Don't cheat and Google it. Don't look at other people's answers. Um, where do you, where, and, and even if you know the answer now, where did you think the smallest country in the whole world was? Because I didn't know it was this. I thought it was, I thought it was somewhere else. Yeah, I did as well. I thought it was, that's where I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was Andorra between France and Spain. Andorra? No, that's not even on the... No, I thought it was, um, is it Monaco? Monaco Monaco's no, tiny. That's, that's a that's place in France. That's a city in France. That's your Wait, where am I thinking? Do you know what, guys? I don't get the credit I deserve. So, in that last clip, because I'm not going to let Chris cut it out, I said, I thought it was Monaco. And Chris went, no, bless your little head. Oh, dear. Guess what, babe? Monaco is the second smallest country in the world. So, 
Take this swiddle sticks that I've got down here, not in front of the camera. Make sure you Google, make sure you're not allowed on Facebook or something. I've, no! Because you made me doubt myself, I just Googled it myself. Yeah, but did you actually open Facebook to Google? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, so included in your campsite fee, you get a free shuttle bus from here at the campsite right the way to the train station, which is what we're taking right now. So the shuttle bus drops you off at the train station and it was about a 10 minute drive, something like that. We're now at the train station and we're just, Chris is just over there buying our tickets to get to the Vatican City. Mommy, that was a long time So I dropped you at the train station, now to get to the Vatican City. I actually do use, I do, behind the camera I actually do use my hand constantly when I'm talking. I'm constantly like, ah. the girl's taking the mic of me doing it all the time. Man, this train is dusty. Are a bit unfortunate. <laughs> I've never ever known a train like that in my whole life. Look at that. So random. Look at the state of these. Yo, this train has seen better days. Anyway. We're now on the underground of Rome and I can confirm without a doubt that the Rome underground is the most disgusting of all. We have been on a fair few undergrounds. Name a few guys. London, New York, New York, London, Singapore. Singapore. A couple of ones in Europe as well. But not compared to this one. Not Barcelona. This one's very, very smelly and dark. Full of rubbish. Just terrified, man. It's horrid. Thankfully, we were only on that tube for two stops. two stops, and now we've got a 15-minute walk. One thing I will say, though, is children under 10 on public transport here in Rome are free, and then over 10, it was one euro fifty for 100 minutes. 100 minutes, yeah. So we can go anywhere on public transport for 100 minutes. And we're only going to be charged one fifty per person over ten. Per person over ten, yes. Yeah. That's good, then. Really? Well, yeah, that's good. Let's go take our little walkies now. We'll probably have to you do that twice because we're definitely be longer than a hundred minutes. But still, I thought that was a good deal. Yeah. This place is so cool. We literally have just come out the tube, and there's this massive stall, and oh everything's God. a euro. That's so cute. <gasps> that is really cute, Isla. Oh my God. Really cute. You have to check they take card though. Yeah. No, everything's yeah. a euro. I'm going to go see what else there is.
per day. Welcome to the smallest country in the world, the Vatican City. Guys, look how absolutely beautiful this place is. It is literally insane. It's one of those things, and I was even just saying this to mum, right? I was just saying how how beautiful everything is and how something like, oh, I wish that we like built like this still. Then I was also saying, it makes me feel so <laughs> tiny. Does it make you feel tiny? Yeah, it's It really makes me cool. feel so tiny because everything is so massive. So before coming here, we read some facts about this place and it is the center of Christianity and also the permanent seat to popes. And we've also even seen loads of nuns out here already in their whole outfits. Yeah, I've never seen a nun in real life. I, I don't feel like I've ever seen like, like fully, like, it's been so cool. They've all got like grey ones. Do you know what I wonder actually? And I don't know this, so I'll have to Google it. But um, I wonder if different colours mean different things. You know, because some of them have had grey ones on. Yeah. There's like black ones. I wonder. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Google now. So the Vatican City is 121 acres. Yep, that's right. Big. That's quite, that's bigger than I thought. 121 yeah, acres. Cool. And as of today, there's around 760, just over that. Um, uh, residents, yeah. residents. Yeah. Which is really, really that cool. is really cool. And then me and Dad were talking about nuns and the reason that they have like different colour clothing on. And basically, to put it into simple words, yeah, it basically just means that different nuns belong to different orders, yeah, um, or like different groups, I guess you could call it. So yeah. to differentiate which who belongs to which, which group, which. yeah, they wear like grey or white or beige or black yeah. or like different yeah, different groups. ones, yeah. yeah. Depending on which group they're. Oh, that was pretty cool as well. Yeah, it's really cool. Really interesting. It is really it's actually cool. so interesting when you're here. You, it makes you want to learn all about everything to yeah, do with it really and all about it. Yeah. That's why I look. That's why you just can't be travelling to a place mm -hmm. because when you travel to a place, it feels different than yeah, just really opening a textbook. It inspires you. Yeah, it inspires you. yeah that's like a, you that's the right like word. Like a rabbit hole, like you're searching like yeah. one thing, but then you're and like, then it oh, hints towards something else. Then yeah. You're searching, it's yeah. Searching. It makes it really cool. It really does inspire you to research more and more and more. And learn all about it. And I'm it. just so buzzing because um, obviously Francis and Mary came here. No, you're not. You're um, just buzzing because there's a jolly bees down the road. Oh, <laughs> there is, guys. There's a jolly bees. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. This is a really cute it. segment. We can't go. There's jolly bees. <laughs> what did you just do, Isla? Why are you touching the floor? I mean, I'd kiss it, but that's not I'd kiss it, but that's Jervis. <laughs> Isla is 100% fully. In her Francis and Mary era, right, right. it's all she talks right. about. No, it's embarrassed. all she researches. Lord Darnley. Lord Darnley. Lord Mary. It's literally what Isla does 24 7 is researches and things about Francis and Mary. I know we've had it, but I'll be going, don't go red, don't go red, don't go red, don't go red. Don't go red. What do you want for Christmas, Francis. Isla? Oh, what do you want for Christmas? A monkey. We will not live in birth. Just researching if anybody, like what are the people that live here? Who are the people that live here? Like, can anybody just move to the Vatican City? Because surely not. So basically, it says the clergy, which is those who contribute to the operation of the Vatican City yeah. religiously, yeah. Um, and the Swiss Guards who defend the city, are the only people that are allowed to live in the Vatican City. So I wonder how many of those that is. As you can see, everyone's taking this science. Not no, science, I'm what? This history theory. lesson. I'm very this serious. Look at him now being silly. Frary. Oh, <laughs> Go. Yeah, it's very cute, yeah. Isla. So the current Pope here in the Vatican is Pope Francis. Yeah. And the Pope is the visible head of the Catholic Church. The Pope is the Bishop of Rome and also the visible head of the worldwide Catholic Church.
city plaque for our van. And I think we might also get one of these aromas as well. You look very cool, isn't it? And it's a style on them. Oh my god. No, it don't. I'll point. back at the campsite what a fantastic day i loved doing that so much it was it was so fun it was actually so fun and i actually learned a lot today and i think the well definitely the girls the older three girls but even like jace you've lost my light <laughs> we just got back to the campsite it's really dark but it's actually a really nice evening so we're just currently sat outside also call saws so tight i feel so sorry for you my lips are actually on fire right now. Also, we just got back, and I, I think it's probably just because we just went on a minibus, but Mila just, Mila and Jace, literally just made my life. Because they just set something up and did something that I had so many fond memories doing as a child, and I can't believe I've never done this with them. I actually feel a bit like a bad mum. Not really, but. But I used to do this so much when I was a young child and I've never done this with them. And Mila just said, Mila, Mila and Jace, mainly Mila, but Jace had got in on it as well. Set this all up and I've got to show you. Right, it's not very good light. It's not very good light at all. Let me try and get the phone actually so I can change the lighting. Right, there we go. Who? Who knows what that is? Who knows what this is? A bus! Amelia's been taking me and Jason all the adventures. <laughs> Guys, I'm hop out. Where are we going today, conductor? Come on, Mama, come on, Mama. Can I have a day? I'm in a car day. A what? A real car day. A real car day. We just said Candy Floss Land. That's what she just said. Guys, who used to make school buses when they were little or just buses and drive around on adventures? Mila's been taking us all over. Where have we been so far? Um, to Disneyland. We went to Disneyland, went on the pirates. We to ice cream. <gasps> you didn't um, take us to ice cream land. So we're on, in not Instagram. Well, yeah, actually, I probably will put it on Instagram as well, but I'm filming it on TikTok. I'm filming how much we spend in two days in Rome. So if you guys want to follow me on there and see how much we're going to spend over the next couple of days, then make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. But if not, this is what we got today. We got a Rome mat. I actually love this one. Uh, we got this one for the back of our van. We need to start getting these on the van, babe. Uh, I know we do. Because we've collected quite a few now. So the plan is we're going to hit a hypermarket when we leave Rome. Yeah. Like the day after tomorrow. Yeah. And we're going to get all that sort of stuff in so we can stick them on the back of the van with some proper stuff. Uh, there's a yeah. couple of tools that I need to make a couple of repairs of as well. Yeah. But we're going to get all that stuff from there. We will. We so we've got a Vatican City one because I thought that was really cool. That's, I think that's a really cool place to say we've been, to be honest. It's awesome, man. I like really? it. Really? You're like cold ears, Jace is pulling my ear right now. And then we got this Rome one. I was a bit fuming because we bought them for 750, 750 euros from one shop and then we went next door and there were six. Literally just six. So we lost out. And they were the exact same ones as well. <laughs> but I really like this one because it's got like the main points that you come to see whilst you're here. But yeah, we got those two and then we also got some little one euro. I couldn't resist these one euro things. The girls got a few bits as well. But these are for friends. So these are for... Oh no, this... Oh no, I can't do this with the bra. She's Roddy. gonna pull everything off. Give me this. Come here, Roddy. Look what Daddy's got. Roddy, look what Daddy's got. She's like, got. yeah, right. Right. So I got two. These are for friends of these really cute little pretend wine bottles. They're pink. You can't really see in the light. And then on the underside, they've got the magnet to stick on a fridge. And then if I can do this with one hand. Oh, don't worry. They've got like a bottle opener on uh -huh. one side and then a twisty, what, what do you call that? A twisty corkscrew wine uh, bottle opener. Yes. And then we got for our van that. It's a little fridge magnet. That's really cute, though, isn't it, babe? Oh, these two are little gifts for my nana. So I got her this for her keys. She's always losing her keys. This is quite heavy, so I think she'll really like that. And then some rosary beads. I can't believe they were a euro. Such a bag. Yeah. Move them dubby little hands! <laughs> you can't just steal it all. But yeah, all of that for five euros. Whoa, it's either this or this to end the vlog tonight. Two seconds bus driver and I'll be back to play our adventures. 
but that's all for today's vlog guys thank you all so much for watching come back tomorrow because we've got another epic day in rome that will conclude rome <laughs> it will conclude this part of italy because after tomorrow we will be moving on to somewhere new here in italy so make sure you come back tomorrow we've got a really fun day planned we'll see you back here at 5 p.m good night guys mm -hmm.